Hello, welcome to my tube. Uh, today, for one of the first time I'm actually speaking the Scottish language, uh, an accent, I hope you can understand it. But uh, as you can see, we're going to do a, a guitar unboxing. Quick uh, clue there is the, the Squire uh, thing. But just a, a quick one down on the, the, the box to start off with. You see there's some dings here, FedEx delivery. Um, so there's two or three of those kind of thing, you know. But I'm hoping that when we open it up, it's going to be great. Um, and I actually got it from a company in England called Rainbow Music in Carlisle. So if everything looks at all right, certainly give them a buzz. Let's see if we got what you need. Hide my address. Looks like there's plenty of clacking. Trim bar, Allen key, spring for the trim one. Some more packing, uh, quite handy with the uh, end out there for the headstock to go in. Right. Yeah, there's a bit of packing at the side as well, uh, and at the bottom, uh, to give it a wee bit of padding. I'll get rid of that. Right. And this is what it is, first time I've saw it. It is a classic vibe, Squire. Now it's a 50s. Uh, which is kind of based on the, the, the Hank Marvin uh, type thing, you know, with the, the gold hardware. And you see that, the Fiesta Red. It's all looking good so far. Pretty pleased with that, to be honest with you. And obviously I'll need a bit of, a bit of a dust. The gold hardware as well. You can see it better that way. Yeah, well, we don't need me in the picture anyway. It's a guitar, that's an important thing. But I think <clears throat> my first impressions, I don't know about you, but mine is wow. I remember, uh, well, I don't actually remember, but my father had one in the, the 60s. He was a Hank Marvin fan, which is probably the main reason why I, I bought this. Obviously, the obligatory uh, duster. Give it a dust down. Not a mark on it, as it should be. But so often, you know, you get uh, some of these things, and it's been a, an ex demonstration or whatever, you know. Um, Yep, gold screws, kind of uh, gold anodized uh, bike plate as well. Gold screws in the uh, the white cover for the tremolo. And this one doesn't really give us any information. Ah, right. Okay. Everything feels fine. Everything feels fine. Nearly in tune. Nearly in tune. Let's tune the thing up. Using the Snark tuner. I have actually ordered up one of those uh, tune ninjas, they call them. Um, I'm going to do a wee video on that as well, uh, but if you haven't saw it, uh, Philip McKnight uh, does a, a wee kind of giveaway uh, on one of them. And what it actually is, is it's a, a, a magnetic uh, tuner, 
and what it does is it kind of clips on the on the back. I'll show you just now. It clips on the back, um, so it kind of hides behind the head slot. Um, it's not right yet, but I've saw it, I've saw it kind of thing. So when you're looking from the front, it's not there. Um, but of course, from this angle, um, the tuner would be there, and the LED is on this side, so you can actually see it and turn it on, tune it, and it's always there. So it just sticks to the guitar, and you do have the um, the space behind as well. It doesn't affect you know when you put it on there. Uh, the guitar, the guitar stand. Obviously, you want to hear what it sounds like. Not all catches come with this lead plugged in, but hey, we're using a wee Roland uh, Street Cube. Let's see if it's done. Oh, that was good. That's it on the bridge pickup. Not a blemish on it that I can find anyway. And that kind of faded, what they call Fiesta Red. And you can probably see it better. Absolutely cracking guitar. So lovely. And again with the gold hardware I really think it just sets it off. I think it makes that cracking video. Cracking guitar. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there. Feel free to check out some of the other videos that I've done. Press subscribe and like. <laughs>